Hi, I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor, and today I'm going to talk about resisting arrest in Arizona. Now, under Arizona Revised Statute 13-2508, resisting arrest is defined as attempting to prevent a known police officer acting in official duty from effectuating an arrest by either threat or physical force. Now, the punishment, if you have no priors, this is a class six felony, and you can get probation up to two years in prison. Now, probation means the judge can say, I'm going to place you on probation and give you certain terms. Uh, remain law-abiding, don't uh, drink, um, see your probation officer. But he can also say, I'm going to put a condition of jail, anywhere from zero days in jail up to one year in jail. So you need a lawyer who knows what he's doing to make sure you don't get any jail time. Now, defenses include lack of intent. This means you didn't, the cop didn't say you're under arrest. He just grabs you and you pull away. Uh, secondly, lack of knowledge. An officer comes up from behind and you don't realize it's an officer as you're having an argument or you're in a confrontation with somebody else and they grab you and you swing around and take a swing. Um, Self-defense. This means you do know it's an officer. They told you you're under arrest, but they're now choking you or bending your arm and it's starting to tear your joint and you pull away because you're in too much pain or you feel you're gonna be killed. And we all know how well chokeholds work out with police officers. Now, uh, another defense we use is video. So if this happened in a parking lot or a public area, we're gonna look for the video surveillance in the nearby areas, get copies of videos, and show that what happened is not what the officers say uh, what happened. In fact, we had a case at the uh, Salt River Fields where a ball game where we caught on tape that the officers weren't telling the truth about what happened when somebody was being arrested. So it's very effective. Common defenses are Miranda rights violations, coerced statements, denial of right to counsel if you ask for your lawyer and they wouldn't let you talk to your lawyer, or just plain sloppy police reports. So if you or a loved one who's charged with resisting arrest in Arizona, give us a call. We'll give you a free in-office consultation. It doesn't cost you anything, but it takes about 30 minutes. We're very skilled at these types of cases. In fact, we have multiple certified criminal law specialists on staff. So we look forward to hearing from you soon if you've been charged, and we'll help you out. Take care.